This is the Uptick Network Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Penny stock news and interviews from the microcap world. Public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world. With your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a returning guest. I really love their business. I love what they're doing out there. I think they have a great CEO behind them. Uh, the name of the company is Sack Lunch Productions. And what they do is they're an entertainment company uh, that operates uh, and franchises uh, action-oriented events in the U.S. and internationally. Uh, they also have a thousand-foot water slide for uh, families and kids. The, the gentleman that's coming on our show today is Richard Serber. He is the CEO. Richard, welcome to the show. Hey, it's great to be here, Everett. Hey, you know, give my listeners a little background, how you got uh, as a CEO of the company and uh, a little background of yourself. And then I want to get into some uh, Q&A today. What I, what I used to about a decade ago was help private companies go public in order to raise money. Um, so we'd help them, uh, you know, get listed on, uh, back then it was the bulletin board, now it's the OTC markets. So I probably did, you know, 20, 30, 40 of those uh, transactions, you know, which included filing, you know, all the necessary uh, documents for them to raise money and become fuller reporting with the SEC. Um, I kind of, uh, as a result of some of the regulations changing, um, I invested into uh, another public company called Green Endeavors, which is um, a salon entity. They sell Aveda products, which is uh, owned by Estee Lauder. I've uh, been the CEO and director and uh, was the founder of that company um, for the last 10 years at this point. And, um, and then back uh, about two years ago, there were two other partners of mine that um, uh, created Slide the City, which is a thousand foot slip and slide that's set up on city streets, and another event called the Lantern Fest. And um, they did a great promotional video on Slide the City with some drone footage here in downtown Salt Lake City. And the video went viral. And that's what essentially launched um, Sack Lunch Productions, I guess, journey into the event productions um, business. Um, and as a result of that, um, they also uh, sold probably about uh, the rights to, I think it was around 50 cities to another company that's local here in Salt Lake City, Utah as well, called Springbok Holdings. Um, that uh, had a couple other events in addition to the Slide the City uh, franchise events. One of them was called Call Me Rad. The other one was called Dirty Dash. Right, right, right. So on August 7th of 2015, we actually acquired Springbok, um, which means we reacquired all of those franchised cities for Slide the City, and we took over um, uh, the Dirty Dash and the Call Me Rad. And those entities are what comprise Sack Lunch Productions today. You know, what developments are, are you anticipating by the uh, year's end? You know, I want to give you kudos. First of all, your revenues in 2014 were about $4.8 million. In 2015, they went all the way up to $10.6 million. So whatever you guys are doing, you're doing something right. Yeah, I mean, this year we're, you know, we're, we're projected to come in probably around $17 million, maybe a little bit below $17 million. We're still kind of, uh, you know, uh, working through, I guess, the last quarter. I mean, so essentially, you know, the season has come to an end for us, with the exception of one of our events, which is called uh, the Lantern Fest. And we have about 12, 12 of those events um, that are scheduled to happen between now and December 3rd, essentially. So one of the bigger ones we did was in Poconos, and the Queen sold out to about 13,000 participants there. Um, we just sold out in Denver as well. We had a two-day, we're going to do a two-day event there on October 15th to 16th, totally sold out. And then we're just going to finish up uh, the year uh, producing the remaining Lantern Fest <clears throat> events. And we'll be, of course, uh, getting the schedule set for 2017. So that's what we're going to probably finish almost the rest of the year doing is setting the stage for 2017 to make sure that 2017, uh, you know, is the best year um, 
of operations that the company has ever had. My guest today is uh, Richard Serber. He is the CEO of SAC Lunch Productions. Well, they trade on the OTC pink sheets under the ticker symbol S-A-K-L. They're trading at approximately uh, three, uh, 3.6 cents. Uh, their market cap is just a little bit north of uh, $5 million, which I think is a very, very undervalued company. You know, what is the value proposition of, of SAC Lunch today? I think he just kind of stated it, Everett, you know, which is, the, you know, I mean, we're, the market cap of the company is only a third, you know, of the re, uh, less than a third That's of, amazing. of the revenue, you know, that we're doing right now. And, you know, we're, you know, we're in a hot segment of the market. We appeal to, you know, uh, millennials. Absolutely. Um, the trend is, is people, you know, at least millennials, I think, value, you know, experiences over things. And that's what we're selling. We're selling a great time. Um, and as a result of appeal, appealing to that, you know, segment of the market as well, um, they essentially do a lot of the promotion for us via social media because, uh, you know, for millennials it seems to be about being able to share, you know, their experiences via social absolutely, media. Absolutely, absolutely. And all of our events are great um, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat opportunities basically, you know, where, where those participants can show what a great time, you know, they're having, which ends up attracting, you know, uh, the people that, that see, you know, that uh, collateral to a lot of our events. Well, let me ask you this. You know, last time I had you on the show, we talked a little bit about Even Bright. Can you tell us a little bit more? How uh, did they partner up? Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how their platforms interact with yours? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're the premier customer relations, you know, platform for a lot of um, uh, events, and they have, uh, you know, a database of probably, you know, millions upon millions of participants, and um, uh, I think as a result of some of their marketing, <clears throat> some of their marketing widgets, and as a, and a, and a, and a, and a as a result of some of the other accessories I guess they have with their platform it's going to make our accounting um, a heck of a lot easier and then hopefully as a result of the marketing tool it boosts our sales coming into 2017 that's the hope so because they'll be able to get a lot of other eyes um, on our relatively new events you know where do you see uh, SAC lunch at in two years from now uh, t to me I see that you guys are growing the top line how's the bottom line coming along well, I mean, this year we had a lot of, you know, expenses related to integrating that acquisition, um, uh, you know, a lot of cost overruns with regard to, you know, the, the audit, um, and then just, uh, you know, bring on an entire new staff as well. So there are a lot of inefficiencies that um, uh, we didn't really expect in 2016. But with that said, um, I think coming into 2017, we're, gonna, we're not going to have the integration costs that we uh, – underwent as a result of the Springbok acquisition and our staff is going to be a heck of a lot more efficient coming into absolutely you know what we're looking at right now is is uh, without any acquisitions without doing anything more based upon you know the current schedule they have we're looking at probably doing somewhere below 19 million dollars in gross revenues with uh, you know a net profit of somewhere around the 3.2 million dollar range that's what it's going to look like coming into 2017 um, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, 2016, the big news is, is we're very close to completing our audits, which means they're going to be filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission, which is going to make us a fully reporting company. And um, uh, it'll just open up a lot of other opportunities to raise capital and pursue um, additional strategic partnerships, which includes acquiring companies that very well, you know, could um, uh, increase the size of the company fivefold you know, over the next two years. We could realistically be a $100 million company. So 2017, 2018, we're thinking about some M&A action. That's what I'm focusing on, you know. Um, I'm really optimistic, um, but a lot of those, uh, but a lot of, there's a lot of opportunity, a lot of, a lot of private <clears throat> companies um, that could benefit uh, through the synergies of being a, uh, a public company with the type of following that we have right now. Absolutely. Building the premier brand, 
in the event industry. My guest today is Richard Serber. He is the CEO of SAC Lunch Productions. Well, they trade on the OTC pink sheets under the ticker symbol S-A-K-L. In closing here, uh, Richard, is there anything that you and I didn't get a chance to talk about that you would like to get out to the listeners? Just so, you know, we're really excited coming into 2017. I think we, I think I hit on all the major points, so, um, so thank you. Yeah. I appreciate uh, you coming on the show today. Uh, last, like I said last time that you were on the show was back in June. Things have really uh, done well uh, for revenues-wise, and uh, I see your company growing each and every month. I wish you nothing but the best, and we're going to check back with you in a couple of months. Appreciate it, Everett. Thank you.